Did you know that the Academy of Management is doing quite well despite the pandemic? We have about 19,000 members living in about 115 different countries. Our 2021 virtual conference had almost 10,000 participants. Our seven journals were widely read and cited. You may be wondering, how are we able to pull this off? Hi, I am Herman Aguinness from the George Washington University, and I have the honor and the privilege of serving as your Academy of Management President. The answer to the question of why we've been able to weather the storm is that we have an engaged, caring, and committed global community of researchers and educators. The Academy of Management volunteers from our 26 divisions and interest groups have been thinking about planning and implementing priorities, not only to respond, but also to anticipate changes in our environment. But in spite of our accomplishments, we are not going to sit on our laurels. We congratulate ourselves because frankly, we earned it. And given the past year and a half, we all need to celebrate a little bit, but we do not interrupt our journey. We continue to improve. We continue to innovate. We continue to move forward. Part of our journey involves making sure that the entire Academy of Management membership is aware of how we together are building a better future. We is the key. This is not just the Academy leadership. This is not just the Academy staff. It is you and you and you and you, all of you, all of us, almost 20,000 Academy members. This is the first installment of a new video series that we're calling the President's Corner, in which I will share updates on what's happening at the Academy of Management. To open up the series, I would like to focus on the big picture. Our vision continues to be one, to remain the premier global community for management and organization scholars. And two, to continue advancing the impact of management and organization science on business and society worldwide. You may be thinking, wow, this is a pretty ambitious vision. And yes, it is. So how are we going to continue to realize our vision? Well, we've been taking, we've been taking a very, very close look at the academy itself and also at external opportunities and external threats with input from internal and external stakeholders, including division and journal leaders. We're now working on strengthening our value proposition. Specifically, we have five strategic paths to do so. Number one, we are reimagining and reinvigorating membership. We're asking questions such as, what is the meaning of Academy of Management membership? Why should people from countries all around the world become and remain Academy members? Number two, we're fueling division and interest group innovation and support. What are new initiatives that our divisions and interest groups can implement to serve our members and their needs year round in addition to our annual meeting? Number three, we are reinventing meetings for hybrid, in-person and virtual modalities. What are the most effective formats for our conferences? How can we leverage what we've learned about virtual conferences to improve our meetings in the future? Number four, we're propelling technology for the 21st century. What types of IT investments are necessary to make sure we're serving our members well? And last but not least, number five, we're solidifying operational sustainability. Which are the operations and procedures that should improve in terms of speed, efficiency, and cost? These are times of change, which personally for me and all of the Academy of Management leadership is very exciting. Why? because we can apply what we teach and what we learn from our own research in our own professional organization. As we look ahead, we will continue to work together to propel the Academy and our entire field forward. In this President's Corner series, I will share updates and also seek your input on various initiatives. I very much look forward to our shared journey. The sky's the limit. Until next time.